Okay, brown gravy. Brown gravy. I mean, that's that's okay. easy. That's it's just to keep it. All right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Simple. They've never right tossed to the to chase. It. They've never tossed to us by talking about gravy before. So no, <laughs> and that's just gravy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Before we get to that, though, we have got a new segment today. It is called Trending Top Five, mm-hmm. yes. and maybe those things that you uh, would could talk about around the Thanksgiving table, like gravy. Indeed. You know, turkey brown gravy versus cream white gravy, and of course, Cleto Rodriguez and Joanna. F- Estrada. 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 My, my, my penmanship. <laughs> okay, I was like, I thought it was Estrada. What does that say? White gravy, brown gravy. Brown gravy all day. Okay. Brown gravy all day. Brown gravy all day. Okay. Yeah, all okay. Day. okay. We need to see some of the questions or hear some of the questions that we're going to be answering. She's going to be the host <laughs> on this one. That's right. So. Okay. Just wait for that. <laughs> when was the last time you had Cabrito? Just like oh, Remy. This morning. <laughs> well, guess what? We're having it today. And <laughs> Chef Jaime Gonzalez from McCarrickie is here. So that's what we're making, right? That is something you're going to be putting together today. But I am a brown gravy guy, too. Oh, oh he's a brown gravy guy, okay. too. And this is just like Grammy used to make, but even at the restaurant, though, right? Yes, yeah, seven days a week. Uh, something you can find in our uh, restaurant all the time. All right. Okay. And are you ready for some amazing charcuterie? Always. Uh-huh. Okay. How about some great cheese? Willow Cheese Shop yep. is here. And, and wait till you see what they have. Yes, we are going to be doing. Oh, oh, and you can even this get looks fake. wedges of cheese. <laughs> Oh, that is a great, I could almost take a bite out of this. I'm not going to right now. And also we're gonna tell you about the annual Youth Empowerment Dinner that you can attend this weekend. And I'm gesturing with cheese right now. So let me, I wanna talk to you about this. You should hold that during, when when we do the topics. I should, that would be a great (laughs) idea. All right, we're at 74. We'll make our way up to around 76 this afternoon. Upper 70s, rest of the work week. Pretty good weekend, although a few showers on Sunday and a few more on Monday before it turns cooler and windy by the middle part of next week. And yes, I'm with you guys, brown gravy. Although when it comes to chicken tenders, you got to have the white gravy. So yeah, but you're talking Thanksgiving, so that's fair. Yeah, fried chicken fingers, not a Thanksgiving meal. They got kind of a sophisticated show today. So they got they got jokes. And then they got charcuterie. <laughs> you said that very well. Thank you. It's like, it's, all it is, it's a cold cut plate. It's a fancy way <laughs> a fancy. Of, of saying meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. On a platter. <laughs> That's a life <life-star> start <laughs> Now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <clears throat> oh, hello and Ooh. happy Wednesday. Oh, yes, we are on the final stretch to Thanksgiving dinner. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. I was going to say, one week from today, Thanksgiving Eve, I if you can believe. I can always so. count on you for keeping track. I know, I know. And I'm like, Oster Hage. <laughs> All right. As, well, David and Ursula were just kind of talking about, it's the great gravy question. Is it the white gravy or is it the brown turkey gravy? Mm-hmm. What do you pick? What's the score? Oh, everybody's going for the... Brown uh, gravy. Yeah, of course. With Thanksgiving, yeah. you can't have that. But like he said, with chicken fingers, oh, chicken boy. fried steak, you do the white gravy. Yes. Sausage gravy. I know, but if you had to pick I one. Know. Brown gravy. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can move on. So please <laughs> scan that QR code and weigh in. All right, well, as you saw, just a seven-day forecast, the weather's going to get uh, very cold next week, and so you need something to warm you up, and boy, do we have it here. Jaime Gonzalez, chef and general manager at Karaki, is here to show us what's on the menu this season and how they can help you with your Thanksgiving meal. First. All right. White gravy, brown gravy? Uh, I am brown gravy as well. Okay, for Thanksgiving. Uh, obviously. You gotta have the drippings from the turkey, make your own gravy. Um, much more flavorful and accompany me the turkey and anything else. Okay, okay. good. We're all on the same island. That's all great. right. Thanks for no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but we are not doing anything really that you would think of for Thanksgiving today because we are making a stu- <sighs> like a stew? Yes. Uh, but what kind? Uh, a stewed cabrito. Um, so traditionally, the cabrito for us, we do in these underground pits in the restaurant. They're wrapped in banana leaves. Uh, laid over is some agave uh, that we drop under these pits um, for about 24 hours. We pull it out of the ground. We capture all the juices from it, mm-hmm. like a consomme uh-huh. uh, that you could dip your tortilla into. But for this warm, for this cold weather, something to warm you up would be this cabrito uh, that's been stewed for 24 hours, accompanied with uh, some nice garnish and refreshing cilantro. And for those who don't know, what is cabrito? Cabrito is a goat. Uh, it is a baby goat. Um, something that we I only seen as a kid in special occasions. So, so something like a wedding or a quinceañera, uh, two or three goats would be uh, put in the ground. 
um, to later be enjoyed by the entire family. So almost like a celebration. And you say at your restaurant, it is above ground pits, right? Yeah, so they're, they're raised above the ground, but we cook these in a underground pit that goes about six feet under um, that are you know, custom made from us from mill scale. Uh, it is something that we really treasure and try to keep some of these traditions alive of actually doing it how they were done a long time ago, prehistoric. It's about as close to being in ground as you can as far as a restaurant Absolutely. <laughs> can yes. go, right? Absolutely. Okay, okay, and then some of the other garnishes that we put on here are? A little bit of radish. All right. uh, we also have some fresh um, lime in there, mm -hmm. cilantro, and some onions. Okay. Do you want that one and I've got this one? or? Oh, what, you got, what, what, what one? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. I got one okay. over here, yes. too. So. All right, so what else is on the menu? Can we just start with, with, with yeah. what's here, So please? we also, going into the holidays, something <laughs> that we want to showcase is also we're in Texas, so Texas pecan pie. Uh, these pecans that are on top here are actually infused um, candied pecans uh, that we do in bourbon. Uh, we also did a bourbon pumpkin cheesecake here. That's something that um, I picked up from a good chef of mine, a mentor, uh, that passed this recipe along to me and is probably one of my favorites ever since, especially going into Thanksgiving where you feel like very, very homey. Well, I like the common denominator, bourbon. And there's <laughs> nothing I don't like about well, everything you just said. But I mean, I've heard of <laughs> bourbon pecan before, but bourbon in the pumpkin? Yes. Why, I mean, why, why not? Why not, Mike? <laughs> Don't okay. judge. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not judging. Not I'm one of those that would take the pumpkin pie and the cheesecake and put them together. So when I found out about something like this, it was probably one of my favorite and I would cherish forever. Okay. And by the way, this is delicious. I mean, you said this is more, like you said, the old fashioned way. Instead of like the birria, things like that, it become mm -hmm. more kind of fashionable these yeah, days. Yeah, trendy. Right? Mm -hmm. um, this is just more home. Traditional. Yeah, traditional. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if someone wants to order for Thanksgiving, what do they need to know? Uh, you can go online for mm -hmm. our, these offerings. We have them already mm -hmm. online for um, available mm -hmm. offerings. Their last day for um, ordering would be uh, Monday the 20th, mm -hmm. uh, which will be also pick up on the 22nd. Okay. And you have a happy hour too, right? Oh, our happy hour has just launched so mm -hmm. we do happy hour from 4 uh, in p.m. to a close of the restaurant and that is every day 4 p.m. to close yes all right sweet on the, <laughs> on the patio on the patio that's we fine and by the way, <laughs> you, can put me any, you can put me on the roof for happy hour it's okay <laughs> and by the way if you wonder where it is remember where liberty bar used to be well that's liberty bar has become now this restaurant right there at the corner of josephine and the the exit Joseph, ramp. Yes, so if you were on 239 East Grayson, uh, we or belong Grayson to the Park. Pearl. Um, so we are right in the corner. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. For more information on Karaki, just snap that QR code on your screen or head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Did you know that the largest Christmas display in the state of Texas is right here in San Antonio? I do now, Mike. You Thank do, you. don't you? <laughs> okay, I went to check it out at SeaWorld uh, and went to see what they have in store for the holiday season. See the snowflakes fall. the season for family memories and why not make them right here at SeaWorld San Antonio where they have been decking the halls or outdoor halls I should say for this bigger than Texas wintry celebration and joining me is Alex Esquivel public relations specialist look at you so festive <laughs> absolutely <laughs> tis the season Fiona as you said we're here at Texas's biggest Christmas celebration and largest light display at SeaWorld San Antonio's Christmas celebration we have millions of lights festive entertainment and delicious culinary offerings for everyone to enjoy and that's the thing is that when you come here you can really get into the Christmas and the holiday spirit I don't know how many lights there are but there are endless possibilities for selfies and Instagrammable moments <laughs> and a fabulous show for the second year in a row right absolutely so first of all Christmas celebration is happening everywhere we have specialty themed areas we have pathway shows including our merry mariachis to where they sing traditional Christmas music but with the little fiesta twist it's one of my favorites we also have other pathway singers like country singers in one of our specialty themed areas called Christmas market it's like a 
Texas Christmas. We have Christmas Santa. We have a cowboy boots tree. It's amazing. On top of that, you had mentioned the Oh Wondrous Night show. So this is an award-winning show. It's a live action performance with amazing puppetry, live animals, and just over 30 inspirational characters that are so inspiring. It truly is magical to see. Yes. And right now there is a special going on if folks want to visit the park all year long, right? Yes, so right now we're in our Black Friday sale to where guests can actually buy a pass and get one 50% off. So you're gonna have to take advantage of the discounts we have going on right now so you can come and enjoy the Christmas celebration with us. Okay, you mentioned Santa Claus. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, okay. <laughs> and they can make those memories too, right? Absolutely, so we have our friends from the North Pole, including Santa, Mrs. Claus, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Clarice. We have so many friends that are here to join us and you can meet them in special photo opportunities that are here around the park. All right, and I have a little one that loves coming here, okay? And she especially loves the parade. So what's going on with those for kids? Yes, so we have a Sesame Street Christmas parade and we have a new Jingle Around the Block party to where guests can meet some of their favorite Sesame Street characters, including Elmo, Oscar the Grouch, and so much more. And all the fabulous rides and animal encounters that folks can sign up for, right? Absolutely. So all of this Christmas celebration is included at your park admission, and it also comes with the amazing rides and our wonderful animals to where you can see them at our amazing animal presentations or our up-close encounters to where you can meet belugas, dolphins, sea lions, lots to see here at SeaWorld and even hot chocolate. You're gonna find that here too, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Guests can actually purchase lanyards to where they can punch their card all throughout the park and create their own Christmas menu uh, for the night. Oh, I love it. All right, tell folks where they can go for more information. For more information, you can go on SeaWorldSanAntonio.com to learn more. All right. Thank you so much and enjoy SeaWorld's Christmas celebration. For more information, you heard her, go to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. And get ready to weigh in because you have an opportunity to win a family four pack of tickets. That's right. Just click on the story on our website, salive.com, and you can enter to win a family four pack of tickets. All right, still ahead on SA Live, it's the Alamo City's first shop dedicated to cheese. We meet this mother daughter team and check out some of more uh, some of their more than 100 cheeses but first who doesn't love thanksgiving sides but would you love them in savory chocolate form like jalapeno mac and cheese chocolate take out your phones right now scan the qr code on your screen and weigh in because and get we, ready to weigh in yes get ready to weigh in because we are going to have a conversation we're going to get it started we're talking about that and other trendy topics we want to hear from you it's next on sa live Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you need some fun topics to talk about over Thanksgiving, well, here's your chance. <laughs> We're gonna give you some great ideas, but we wanted to get the conversation started, so we invited some of the SA Live family to get their reaction, and we want you to weigh in as well. So you wanna scan that QR code that you see on your screen so you can so you can weigh in and uh, we're gonna introduce our guests now. You may know our first one over there, uh, Mike Osterhey. Osterhey, right? Yes. yes. As a host <laughs> on San Antonio's number one daytime show. He's our resident Silva Fox. And you're also in, you're also leading in that beard No shave November, yes. No shave November. I am, I'm Something sure. for your donations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Joining us is actress and comedian Joanna Estrada, known as Chona E. She's best known for her music video parodies, but has started doing stand-up and is killing it. So welcome <laughs> to Chona E. Thank you. I'm also participating in No Shave November. Upper lip is coming in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I see that. Okay. She's nice. lining up just right. <laughs> <laughs> also joining us is comedian Cleto Rodriguez. He has two comedy specials streaming right now on Amazon Prime and performs regularly here in town, including right now on SA Live. Okay, he also loves pasta <laughs> and short walks on the beach. And he was recently I'm a, I'm in our Halloween adjust special. Adjust microphone Welcome. here very quickly because it's moving back. I'm <laughs> sorry. He so, just stole your thunder. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can wait sorry. Like Come finish. on. Like, he needed know. another <laughs> look. <laughs> sorry. Glad <laughs> Hey, all right. okay, okay, so we're looking at this video right now because I've got to move on. Okay. <laughs> Campbell Soup is celebrating Thanksgiving by offering holiday 
the Holiday Sides Collection, which is chocolates infused with their soups to create flavors like a green bean casserole. Gletto, yay or nay on savory chocolates that taste uh, like Thanksgiving sides? That would be a nay for me. I don't even think about soup on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Is this at 50% right now? There are people who say yes. No way. I, no might, way. I might judge them. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, Joanna, yay or nay? Jalapeno cheddar mac and cheese chocolates? Yeah, that's a no for me. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, um, Mike, yay or nay baked corn casserole chocolate? I look at it as you wouldn't do your corn casserole to taste like chocolate. Why have your chocolate taste like corn casserole? Keep them separate. Keep them separate. Keep yeah. them separate. Yeah. That was so concise. I'm so proud Thank of you. you. Okay. 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 I know. I something kind of smart, didn't I? <laughs> Next up. Will you survive the holidays? Just in time for the season is a new slasher film called Thanksgiving. Here's a clip. Thanksgiving horror film, Joanna. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a that's another no for me. I like to keep my peace. My husband, on the other hand, is a horror junkie, and he's the one who runs up the stairs every night thinking someone's chasing him. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Okay, Cleto. Uh, no, after that, I'm gonna, we're going to use plastic knives. So <laughs> we're good. We're good at our house. Yeah. I just noticed the guy had the pilgrim hat on. Yeah, no. really he's nasty. in character. No, yeah. leave, that, that was Halloween. Yeah. Leave Thanksgiving yeah. alone. Well, and I know, yeah. you, and you love Thanksgiving and Christmas. I, I mean, this is yes. Hallmark movie season. You've yes. been watching yeah, Hallmark since what, July? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Look, it's kind of teeter tottering there. It is. Wow. I'm getting, I'm getting judgy. Okay, next. <laughs> Have you heard of a dump dinner? Okay, this video is from user Kitty Perk on TikTok, and it got 22 million views. Basically, wow. you just dump dinner on the table. It looks similar to a crawfish or seafood boil. The question is, of course, would you do a dump dinner for is that spaghetti and meatballs, yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. for Thanksgiving? Yes or no, Mike? I think it'd be kind of fun. It's again, it's like a seafood, but why not? I mean, something different. Uh, at Thanksgiving. <laughs> I do like that they put foil on the table. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you have to We're gonna take some of this home. <laughs> I kinda, I think it'd be kind of a fun idea. Okay, uh -huh. The gravy might run over onto the table <laughs> before, but you know. That would be tricky on foil, that's yeah. slick. Okay, Joanna? Yeah, no, we're not going to Mike's house, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. That's what y'all are doing over there. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay, we'll keep it on the plate and the whole thing, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it normal. No, we like plates at our house. I mean, we like to eat all... <laughs> plates and plastic knives, yeah, right? Yeah, plates and plastic <laughs> knives. I mean, I mean, enchiladas sliding off the table on Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's just not cool. <laughs> yeah, there's always that one ant that brings the enchiladas. It's a turkey. No, yeah. I'm bringing enchiladas. I don't know why. <laughs> it's all in the room. I don't know why. I mean, pass it down. Yeah. I brought more leg. I brought more leg. Come on. Pour <laughs> <laughs> it. Like, wait, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's not gonna look pretty. All right, next. Uh, gravy. <laughs> <laughs> it's chocolate. <laughs> chocolate sauce. There, there you go, there's the chocolate and more land. There you go. Back to the first question. That's right? it, yeah. Okay, I'm being told to move okay, on. Sorry. Next, it's okay. Thanksgiving also has people thinking about deals and gifts. You're looking at one right now. BuzzFeed has a list of great gifts on Amazon, including <laughs> this Bluetooth headband, so you can listen to music or podcasts or comedy routines by these two as you fall asleep. <laughs> Bluetooth headband, silly or smart, gift. Joanna. Silly. I mean, there's already headphones. What's the need? I don't okay. know. Cleto? Uh, yeah, I would have to go with silly because that's ridiculous. I mean, I don't even have an Amazon credit account. Or anything <laughs> like that, so I'd rather wait at Walmart. Okay. Mike? <laughs> you want to hear your wife whisper sweet nothing, so no. This guy. Sweet nothings. What is this you speak of, He's sir? He's killing just, it today. Just in case she's watching right now, I'm, I'm running around. Uh, there you go. Very, very good, very good unless, Mike. Unless how, you go to bed really early anyway. I know. How do you even think he gets yeah. to the sweet nothings? <laughs> Speaking right. of chocolates. Here we go. Okay, and last Thanksgiving is a big sports day. We're going to pose a hypothetical question. If you could only watch one, which would it be? Spurs play game seven in a championship series, or the Cowboys play in the Super Bowl? You can only watch one. Oh, this is. Look at that, oh, that's weighing, weighing down. What do you say? I okay. say Spurs. I watch the Spurs, yeah. Spurs. Yeah. Lions in the Super Bowl. 
Oh, <laughs> she stands alone. Okay, thank you, everybody, for playing along. You can catch Cleta Rodriguez this Friday, November 17th, performing at Las Chiladas Restaurant and Events. It starts at 8 p.m., and you can see Chona E perform Sunday, November 26th, at the Queens and Comedy Show at the Pegasus Nightclub. For links to both these events, just snap that QR code on your... Oh, I like that Look at you, Cleta. Oh, look at that picture. Well, yeah, you know, right. I just like snap. the... It's nothing like a little Photoshop, <laughs> let me tell you. It's the waist. It's like Beyonce. Hello. Oh my God, are you wearing Hello. a corset? <laughs> Those are mint. I'm Tati Amaro with your insider deals. And coming up on SA Live, I'm saving you big money on items that can cost as much as $100 to $200. And next, they have more than 100 cheeses to choose from. We visit the Alamo City's first shop dedicated to cheese. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, do you want to make sure you have a Gouda holiday season? Ah. Then you want to make sure you have some delicious cheese on the menu. Well, yes, we all know feta makes it better. And if you need a cheesy <laughs> gift this season, our Gen Tobias Trust, he is taking us to a new mother-daughter veteran-owned shop that's Nacho Average Specialty Business. I get it, Nacho. <laughs> yes. Willow's Cheese Shop is the only specialty cheese shop in San Antonio. Today we take you inside to meet the mother-daughter duo behind the shop. Velma and Gabby Armijo opened this specialty shop in Castle Hills this fall to introduce the world of cheese to San Antonio. I was a cheesemonger in Virginia and in Michigan and I missed working in the field. There's nothing like it in San Antonio so we thought we'd open up a cheese shop. I was happily retired, sleeping in, reading at leisure, lunching with my friends, but she asked me to be her business partner and we want the best for our kids. So I said, sure, why not? We've learned that we can actually work well together. <laughs> so. Yes, we finish each other's sentences <laughs> or answer the question at the same time in the same words. Yeah. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I love working in cheese. I love it, talking about it and educating people on it. And while Gabby is the cheese monger, Velma is learning as she goes and spreading her newfound knowledge with customers too. By going through the names of the cheeses, I have I can remember what ones we have and what ones we we don't carry. Mm -hmm. She's learned more about cheese in two months than she did her entire life. The shop also includes coffees, teas, crackers, jams, and an Italian section. For this cheese lover, I had a blast taking in the varieties. We carry fresh, bloomy, Spanish, Gouda, Swiss, wash French, rind? wash rind, blues. We try to carry as many types of cheeses. We carry over 150 cheeses. And I even got to cut the cheese with lead monger M. Gonzalez. So with Hornbacher, we want to make sure we score it a little bit to where we want to cut it. So with this, we're going to put a knife here, cut you a chunk right there. Then we're going to place it onto the wire. Oh, there's the wire. <laughs> and then you're going to lock it in place like that and then just pull down. Pull down. All right, here we go. Ready? Hard? Hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Did I break it? Yeah, you're fine though. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll keep my day job. Uh, we make our own butter bombs. So we make a compound butter, put them in a mold, and then add fun little things inside. Uh, our blue cheese has guanciale, fried up guanciale in it. Sometimes we make a uh, mixed berry butter bomb, which has mixed berries inside and then in the butter. We make a roasted garlic and frizzled shallot butter bomb. They also have eight different types of olive oil and eight different types of balsamic. I was told to try the white peach balsamic. Let's give this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Yes. Okay, I'm getting a bottle of that. Your taste buds will be jumping with joy. There will be a variety of classes such as types of cheese, how to use cheese in various dishes, um, how to build a cheese board, how to build a cheese board, maybe some pairings, uh, but just to uh, 
let people have further information mm -hmm. on the cheese that they buy and how they can use that cheese. And we are lucky enough to have Gabby and Velma in the studio with us right now. And they're going to be talking about cheese, show us how to make a great charcuterie board, all sorts of goodies. So stay with us for all the cheesy deets when SA Live continues. Yum, 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 yum. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, to paraphrase the song, sweet dreams are made of cheese. And I'll tell you what. We are in a little bit of heaven right now. Our dreams have come true, and look <laughs> at these. You say I'm going to be low cheese, right? Okay, you just met them before the break. Gabby and Velma from Willis Cheese Shop is here to give us a taste of what they're bringing to the Alamo City. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you have more than 100 cheeses in San Francisco? Around at least 150 on average. All different countries, right? All over the country. All right. Or all oh. over the world. So, yes. we're going to tell us about making yeah. a... Um, charcuterie board right here. What I kind love, of cheeses do we have So here? we've got two French style bries. Mm -hmm. One is a triple cream, one is a double. So that's the double? That's Wait. the double. Okay. This is the triple. This is the triple. Okay. <laughs> okay. Buttery goodness. And you I, said that tasting this triple is like what? Oh, it make it makes your your taste buds just jump with joy. Like a little bit of sunshine, yes. you said, a lot, right? A lot, of, a lot of sunshine. And then from sunshine to how did you describe the blue cheese? A little scary. I love blues, but this one it makes those tingly spots in the back of your throat just light up. Mm -hmm. And then we lean in towards a little more mellow mm. manchego three month, a nice cheddar. We've got some goudas with some crystals in it. And then we have a really nice Uric, which is a Swiss style cheese. Now, when somebody's trying different cheeses, do you recommend milder ones? Do you recommend going maybe to the extremes just to go for, you know, well, go for broke? Mm -hmm. I always ask, what do you lean towards? And if somebody says cheddars, do you lean towards something a little softer or a little more salty? And mm -hmm. normally I get the salty taste request. Or if they say, I like a brie. Well, do you like something super buttery or a little more tangy? We know where to lean, lean in towards because we've tried every cheese we carry in the shop. How did you get into cheeses? I worked in cheese in Virginia and in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. And I was here working a dead-end job at the beginning of the year sad that I wasn't working in food. So I asked mom at the beginning of the year, will you be my business partner? And she said yes. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without her. Now, if somebody wants to accompany the cheese with, say, a wine or beer, what do you recommend? It depends on what cheeses they get. Mm -hmm. If they get something like the Brie, the St. Angel, the Daffinois, I suggest maybe a more fizzy, a little lighter, bubbly wine. If they if they're getting a blue, uh, depending on the blues, sometimes a nice, a nice Merlot or something a little heavier would be more welcome to the okay. palate. So just to kind of, to kind of yeah. counter that strong yes. cheese. Mm -hmm. and you have an event coming up this weekend, right? Yes, we have cheese giving. Mom, you. <sighs> yes. Fri Friday evening from five until seven at the shop, cheese giving. We will have appetizers, a main, sides, and desserts. And the shop will be open for shopping. Uh, come and join us. We would love to see you uh, and have some fun, talk some cheese, maybe share a cheesy joke or two. And a white peach um, balsamic. balsamic. Yes. Wow, yes. I've never heard of that. Yes. Okay. You can and truly you're... smell the peach and taste the peach in it. And you're yes. located on uh, Blanco just inside 410, kind yes. of over there by North Star. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Well, if you'd like more information on Willow's cheese, and again, this is so, these cheeses are wonderful. Some of them are just creamy, melt in your mouth. Uh, snap the QR code right there on your screen. Just go to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Who did better with the charcuterie board? I don't know. Um, okay. I think we're tied. Okay, good enough. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. <laughs> For more, okay, and next, it's a twist on the traditional Thanksgiving turkey or something you could try with leftovers. We share the recipe and talk about a free Thanksgiving event. And don't forget to weigh in on our question. Is it white gravy? Is it brown gravy? I don't care what it is, as long as it includes charcuterie. Welcome back to SA Live. How does a food 
every Thanksgiving dinner sound. It's happening this weekend, and you are invited. And our good friend, Chef Miles Williams, is here to tell us about the 8th Annual Youth Empowerment Dinner and share some ideas for your own Thanksgiving meal along with our special chefs. Alyssa and Addison, welcome everybody. Hey. Okay, what are we making today here? So we're making smoked turkey. Uh, empanadas? <laughs> empanadas? <laughs> empanadas. Okay. How do we get going here? So we're gonna um, put some of this, of the um, turkey, in here, and we're just gonna like mix it like that. And then and just a little bit of egg and stuff like that? Yes. Okay. And we're gonna be like putting egg around this, like this. So tell us about the empowerment dinner, Milos. So the Youth Empowerment Thanksgiving dinner, this is the eighth year that mm -hmm. we are hosting in the city of San Antonio. Um, it is a youth, it is a youth empowerment Thanksgiving dinner for youth and the families here in the city of San Antonio to give a exquisite and elaborate Thanksgiving themed dinner that they have yet to experience. I love it. So what inspired you to start it? Well, what inspired me and my brother, Dietrich Williams, to start it is because when we were young, we always wanted that Christmas story, Thanksgiving type thing with the big turkey on and, and the family and the family buffet style, you know, just to pass. Without the dogs. Without the dogs, yes. <laughs> and so that's what we wanted to prepare for these children. Oh, I love it. Okay, so what are we going to be making here? We'll be making a cranberry ranch dressing. Okay, Addison. So add half of this. Okay, so half of that. That's um, good. It's about right. <laughs> I got it. Okay. You add all of this is all spice. All spice. Okay. And then how much of this am I putting? Half of the ranch. About half the ranch. Yes. That's good. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> right. Okay. And then now. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll grab this. Okay. You do that. <laughs> and you all mix it. Okay, and Alyssa and Addison are junior chefs and learning how to be chefs. They're my daughters, and they've been junior chefs since they were born. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> you guys have a favorite thing. What's your favorite thing to make? Is it like a dessert? Do you like to bake? Do you like to cook? Probably homemade pizza. Homemade pizza. Homemade pizza. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah, some Friday night for homemade pizza. So. <laughs> How can folks sign up for uh, the uh, the Thanksgiving dinner? So they can look at they can look up Worldly. They can call contact Charles Saddleway, uh -huh. and they can <laughs> reserve for the tables the seats this this Friday. I'm sorry, and we have 12 available seats. RSVP and get in there and when you call the number, you let them know that you saw us live here on SA Live. Yes. And? And so it's at the Amory Event Hall and it's at 210-914-2954. Ask for Mr. Charles Satterwhite and let them know that you saw it here on SA Live. Wonderful. Oh, great. Thank you, sir. Ladies, pleasure meeting you. Nice All right. You. There's the information on the screen. Eighth Annual Youth Empowerment Dinner, Friday, November 17th, 6 p.m. Anne Marie is at Hall. Call to reserve your seat at the number you see, 210-914-2954. Or if you just want to see all that information, head to our website, salive.com. Click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab. Coming up next on SA Live, it's Insider Deals, and I'm saving you big money on items that can cost as much as $100 to $200. Welcome back to beautiful historic Market Square. The Christmas tree is going up and time to do a little shopping, and we have some savings for you if you want to do some Christmas shopping early. Yes, we do. Holiday gift ideas at bargain prices. Insider Deals expert Tati Amara shares a roundup of savings on Christmas decor and more. Well, you all know that I love a good deal and nothing is better than sharing them with you. So get ready for some money-saving items that are awesome for the kitchen, your beauty routine, and just around the house. To get shopping, just scan the QR code on your screen or head over to MorningSave.com and look for the insider deals. Now, good lighting changes everything. So give your space a makeover in minutes thanks to this doorbuster deal and create a mood for every single room. With the Mercury Innovation Smart Wi-Fi LED light strips, you can get easy, damage-free installation that you can do yourself. 
Now these can be used under kitchen cabinets, around the bathroom mirrors, on stairways, even as TV backlights, you name it. Strip is a little too long? No problem. Just cut it to fit your space. You can adjust the brightness and the color with just a swipe of the app, a Hey Google, or Alexa. Getting up to turn the lights off is a thing of the past. Now millions of people have ordered this for a lot more, but you are the lucky shoppers getting five for just 20 bucks. That's right, you may have seen these for as much as $100, but with this exclusive insider deal, you can save 80% and get five for $20. Now imagine how much fun these will be around the holidays. Now next up, let's talk about something that can get you set for your holiday photos and beyond. Get ready to prep, plump, and prime with this set from True and Luscious. Now this is the brand's best-selling bundle. The products are designed to help hydrate and create a smooth canvas for your lips and eye makeup. Angel Eyes acts like a magnet to dramatically extend the life of your eyeshadow, eyeliner, and concealer. Makeup applies more evenly, vibrantly, and stays in place for up to 12 hours of extended wear. And who doesn't want to keep their eye makeup in place all day? The Flower Dose is a powerful blend of organic floral extracts, orchid stem cells, rose water, and vegan hyaluronic acid. It's designed to boost hydration, skin elasticity. Think of it as an anti-aging topical and makeup primer all in one. Now you may have seen this set for as much as $56, but with this exclusive insider deal, you can get this set for $15, a huge savings of 73%. No doubt that this duo will help you get your skin ready for the holidays. Now here's an item that will come in handy with your new primer. This solves two needs. One, needing a lit magnification mirror, and two, needing some extra storage. Now thankfully, we've got both for one low price with the Sharper Image Spa Studio 10-inch LED vanity mirror with built-in storage trays. Now the swing out storage trays help keep your accessories, makeup, and knickknacks organized, while the built-in LED halo ring light is dimmable and can be adjusted it with just the touch of a finger. But there's still one more thing. The mirror has a standard view on one side, but flip it over and you get five times magnification. There's also a 10 times mirror attachment that you can keep on or take with you on the go for touch-ups. Now you may have seen this for as much as $200, but with this fabulous insider deal, you can get one for $49.99, a major discount of 75%. Now let's move on to the kitchen. Now who doesn't want to make groceries stretch as much as possible. Now this deal is all about saving. With this set from Anova, you will save your food's shelf life, thus saving you money. No more throwing food away that wasn't stored properly. Plus, when you vacuum seal portion sizes, you save time with dinner because it's ready to go. Take out enough food for one or a feast for the whole family. Now the included bags can be used for sous vide cooking as well, which is really cool. They can even be washed out and reused. Now this vacuum sealer removes and blocks all oxygen from the bags, keeping your food fresher longer. But don't let the science intimidate you. The unit's simplicity is a key part of its design. And even better, the cordless handheld vacuum is ultra compact, making it super easy to store. Now you may have seen this vacuum sealer for as much as $50, but you can save 70% and get one for $15. Now this will come very much in handy over the holidays. Now to get shopping, just scan the QR code on your screen or head over to MorningSave.com and look for the insider deals. Remember, these are only available while supplies last, so don't miss out, everyone. Happy shopping and happy saving. I've always wanted one of those food sealer things, but I never thought it'd be like a one-time use and then you'd forget about it. The makeup mirror, though, I mean, those things come in handy, especially well, yeah. when you, well, I mean, no. I mean, when for you, you, before the with shows? The, with the eyesight, you know, I mean, you need the magnifier, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to see all the gray hair. <laughs> to, to find these deals and more, go to morningsave.com and look for insider deals. You'll find a link with all the details on ksat.com. Just scan that QR code on your screen. We'll be right back. Not as controversial as yesterday's. No, question. turkey brown gravy or white cream yeah. gravy, and well, what do you know? Scan that QR code and weigh in, but I mean brown gravy. 78%. Yeah, I mean, with Thanksgiving, you have to have, you know, the drippings or the little packet or something like that. 
the make drippings? your drippings? The drippings from the turkey and you make your own oh, gravy. Oh, okay. Or you can get one of the, the jars dressings. Yes. I've never heard the drippings. Yeah, the you, the, in the in the pan, you save all that. That's good. Okay. That's where all the flavor is. Okay, not from this country. You make gravy out of it. So. <laughs> Tomorrow, we have men's grooming, grooming tips. tips. It's No Shave November. <laughs>